Okay, today I'm going to start a set of tutorials on the Mendeley desktop software. Uh, the Mendeley desktop software is a free publication management and sharing software. Um, it's somewhat equivalent to a mixture between uh, what you say EndNote, for instance, and then a document management system. Um, so, in other words, you can manage your publications, uh, you can read them, share them with others, and annotate them, uh, like a PDF reader, for instance. Um, you can also find statistics on your field, so the most cited article, the most read article, um, within psychology, for instance. Um, you can also share and interact with others, so create groups. Um, and probably one of the most important things for people who are familiar with EndNote and other areas like that is the idea of um, using Mendeley and the references that you add to uh, create a automatic reference list within Windows, uh, sorry, within Word. Uh, so what this will allow you to do is to go to Word and there'll be an add-on section that you can include through inst uh, install MS Word plugin um, and then you can then click on that um, when you need to cite an article, uh, it will put in the correct index uh, APA citation, for instance, if that's what you use, um, or other. Um, and then when you press go, it will automatically generate a reference list for you at the end of your document. Um, in this first tutorial, what I'm going to look at is how to add documents into the Mendeley system. Uh, now there's three ways of doing this, um, you might use all of them, you might use only one of them depending on your needs. Uh, the first and simplest one, uh, which is only uh, useful uh, if you have a few references and you're only interested in generating a reference list within Word, for instance, is to add them manually. So you go to Add Entry Manually, uh, this will create a box uh, which you can manually add information. So you can select type, uh, so book, book session, um, computer program for your statistical programs, or most often journal article. Now it's important to get this right because this will uh, set up how uh, the software creates a reference within a reference list. Uh, so getting it wrong can mean the wrong format. Uh, include your title here, manually, authors, etc. Uh, going through and then just press save. Um, and then what this will do is create it, um, create a citation here, um, filling in the various fields, and then you can get an overview of that. And so you can see that's ready to go, uh, get a reference list within Word, for instance. Um, obviously, if you have a lot of references, uh, this is not a particularly speedy way to do it. Um, a way that's uh, really useful for those of you that have large PDF collections. So, for instance, I have one that's approximately uh, 1,500 articles long, is to use the Watch folder. Now, what this does is it provides you a list of folders here. There, sh there will usually be an Enable button here if you haven't already enabled it. Uh, you then go through, uh, click on a file that has a list of PDFs, uh, so for instance mine is within the D drive and it's under a file called PDF. Press OK and what this will do is uh, bring the documents into uh, the Mendeley system which you can see by this little PDF button here um, so that you can read it within the system uh, and I'll show you what the reader looks like in the next tutorial. Um, it then also scans the document uh, for all of the information um, to create a, uh, a, a citation that you can use uh, in creating a reference list within Word or whatnot. So you see here, this is one um, PDF that was scanned uh, and Mendeley is quite good at scanning those PDFs to get the correct titles, authors and other information. Occasionally, however, it doesn't get right. Uh, and in this case, you need to go to the Needs Review box here click on that and you'll notice that there's uh, some problems with some of these articles. Uh, so for instance, if we have a look at uh, this one here, you'll notice that the author isn't there. Um, this one is missing some information. Uh, one of the benefits of the Mendeley system, and something that I think is, is quite neat, 
is that if you if you uh, make sure that the title is correct here, it's a basic structure of the education system, Federal Republic of Germany. You can then use this search by title, and what this does is it searches Google Scholar for if there is information, and will then fill in. So for this article, it isn't there. Uh, for the Paul Miller article, it probably won't because I don't have the article details. Uh, but this one, for instance, might work. Uh, so if we make sure the title is correct, search by Google, see all of the information is put in here then you can just click on details are correct it will then move it from the needs review section into the all documents section uh, so that you can be confident that the citation that is included in word will be correct now the final way of uh, doing uh, adding citations into Mendeley is to go to the add documents and then add files uh, now what this does is uh, say that you have a BibTech uh, reference, say from Jabref or, or something else, or that you're going to be using BibTech uh, documents from Google, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. You can then save them in a plain text uh, document in Notepad or something like that. Click on that, open it. It will then scan this document uh, for the BibTech type references. Um, and then it'll include the information, so you can see I've done that here with the Amelia Missy Data Program. It correctly puts in all the information that's needed. So how do we get this BibTech information? Well, if you go to Google Scholar and click on something you might be interested in, so you might be interested in uh, an article from the Journal of Educational Psychology, click on that. Um, and it'll put the information. Now, that's not particularly useful for you uh, because it won't have this box input into BibTech. Now to get that, you go to Scholar Preferences, you scroll down to Bibliogra uh, Bibliographic Manager, click on Show Links to Import Citations, and click on BibTech. Save Preferences. Uh, once you've done that, you'll notice that these boxes will be highlighted. Uh, so if you find an article you want, so this Pinterest article that's been cited by a whole bunch of people, so it looks like an interesting one, we'll impute it into uh, BibTech reference form, it'll give you this. You can then um, copy and paste that into a plain text document. So let's just get the typical plain text. You can then save that as, um, you know, maybe you'd like to call it an yeah. example on your desktop for instance and then once you go back to Mendeley I go to file um, or sorry add documents either or either it doesn't matter add files click on the example I just had I'll scan that and there's all the information come up for you so that's the end of the tutorial on how to get uh, documents and also citations, or citations and documents, uh, into Mendeley. The next tutorial will look at how to use the PDF reader, um, how to sync your library, um, create folders and groups uh, for sharing um, and organising, and how to use the search functions. Um, the final tutorial will look at how to use the uh, MS Word plugins uh, within Mendeley to automatically generate a reference list uh, within Word uh, and then also a quick note on how you might use uh, Mendeley to create a BibTeX reference if you're using LaTeX. Okay. See you at the next tutorial.